Or Tully chewing the scenery. You certainly couldn't get away with a performance like that nowadays. Mature contemporary audiences are too sophisticated to enjoy broad racial stereotypes on stage, so we finished them to Disney. Let the children sort it out. But remember, underling, we have to be discreet. Yes, madam. It is prohibition after all. I am aware, madam. We'll have to use code words. For instance, if someone says they want a glass of ice water, it means they want a glass of vodka. Have you got that? Yes, madam. Are you sure? Maybe you should write it down. I understand, madam. A glass of ice water is a glass of vodka. What's a glass of ice water? Vodka. Ice water? Vodka. Ice? Vodka. Oh, good. So that's settled then. What less thing to do? Adeline, might I please have a glass of ice water? I found our meeting with the pastry chefs rather trying, and I would enjoy a glass of refreshing ice water. Your ice water, madam. <laughs> that was pure vodka, you poop! Uh, I hate this scene. Well, now I really do need a glass of ice water. A glass of ice water, madam. Yes, ice water. Are you going deaf? Would that I were. You can see where this is going, can't you? It's really just a series of spit takes. Your ice water, madam. <laughs> that was pure vodka, you poop! You know, some elements of Drowsy Chaperone were quite progressive. Your ice water, madam. <laughs> Yes, some elements were progressive, but others were stale in 1928. You know what? I'm just gonna skip ahead. Poop! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? To find lime juice, madam. Lime juice? For heaven's sakes, what? Now, you're probably asking yourself, what was the that routine doing in the show? Well, it's simple. There's a song coming up, and they need an excuse for a set change. It's simple. It's just mechanics. Th this next number coming up is truly one of my favorites. It's sung by Beatrice Stockwell as the chaperone. She's right there on my wall. A signed picture from Beatrice Stockwell. She sings this number to Janet, who's played by Jane Roberts, and it, who's seeking advice about her wedding. Anyway, you're so, I'm so happy that you get to see this number. I've been listening to it for seven years now. When my mother gave it to me. Well, now that we got that mess cleaned up, let's get back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> 